Toxoplasmosis is uh, a parasitic infection where cat uh, is a definitive host and uh, humans and animals are intermediate hosts. Um, human can get infected by ingesting oocytes from contaminated soil or undercooked meat. And uh, toxoplasmosis usually presents uh, with unilateral lymphadenopathy. And um, it is much, <clears throat> uh, uh, it is the most common in the posterior cervical lymph node. Uh, the general lymphadenopathy is much less common. Uh, toxoplasmosis is um, self limited disease in normal individuals. However, in immunocompromised patients, it could be uh, more complicated. And here we see the lymph node affected by toxoplasmosis. So the overall architecture is uh, preserved. And uh, we can see uh, three most important signs, or three signs that defines toxoplasmosis. And those three signs are uh, reactive follicular hyperplasia, so enlarged uh, follicles with activated germinal centers. The second side is uh, second sign is monocytoid B cell hyperplasia in the sinuses. So that's what we see here, uh, and. Um, paracortical area in between the follicles or in the subcapsular sinus. And we can see these lighter areas filled with monocytoid B cells. And the third sign um, <clears throat> is the presence of epithelioid histiocytes. Uh, that's what we see here and here. Those are these lighter areas here. So once again, uh, if we use higher magnification, we can see reactive follicles uh, with uh, tangible body macrophages with polarization. So that tells us that, that these follicles are only reactive. Here we see the lighter areas composed of monocytoid B cells. And those B monocytoid B cells would be positive for CD20. Uh, they have a voluminous cytoplasm and centrally located uh, round or oval shaped uh, nucleus and the borders of the cells are quite uh, visible um, <clears throat> and the third sign is the presence of these uh, epithelioid histiocytes they can be dispersed uh, or they can create very small uh, granulomas we call them microgranulomas they usually consist uh, <clears throat> of less than 25 epithelioid cells. So that's the difference between well-formed granulomas and sarcoidosis, for example. We do not see necrosis as in case of tuberculosis. Uh, so epithelioid histiocytes, those are transformed macrophages with oval-shaped vesicular nuclei uh, with uh, voluminous pink cytoplasm without clear borders in between the cells. And here we see the formation of the small microgranulomas. Uh, these microgranulomas can be uh, in the paracortical areas or it can even infiltrate the follicular, um, <clears throat> follicular germinal centers. So that's toxoplasmosis or toxoplasma lymphadenitis. Uh, thanks for watching.